One of my worst deaths ever. It's about five years ago, I get a call from my agent. She's like, I've got you a TV gig. I was like, amazing. Relatively new to the game back then, to get the opportunity to do a set of comedy on TV, on the big screen, I was over the moon. My mind is racing. I'm like, what are we talking about here? Live at the Apollo, Royal Variety maybe? Can you imagine that? Me on stage in front of a member of the Royal family? <gasps> so excited. She went, I have to tell you this now, it's not actually on British TV. I was like, O-M-G. This is it, isn't it? It's time for me to break America. You've got me on one of the chat shows. Which one is it, Kimmel, Fallon? She went, no, it's actually on Belgium TV. I'm not gonna lie, silence on the other end of the phone. I was like, Belgium? Do, do they even have TV stations? Well, it turns out they do, and I was booked to do. Actually, I'm actually not gonna say the name of the comedy show because the comedy show is probably Googleable and you could find this gig if I tell you it. So, name redacted so that no one searches for it. But I'm booked to do this gig. But I think to myself, you know what? What have I got to lose? The money's quite good. It'll be an experience. I say yes to the gig on Belgium TV. Obviously, I'm quite worried though. At every point of this process, from traveling over there, from talking to the agent, from talking to the promoter, from getting there to the venue and talking to the MC, at every point I kept asking the same question. Will my act work in Belgium? Surely the sense of humor there is different. You don't hear much about the famous Belgium sense of humor. Is this gonna fly? But everyone kept reassuring me, no, it's gonna be fine, they're gonna love you. Now, one thing that I always do as a comedian, whenever I'm doing a show, especially if it's somewhere new, You'll try to go there early, you'll try to get a little feel of the place, you'll try to write some material that is linked specifically to the area that you're doing the gig in. That's something the audiences really like and react well to, so I'm thinking I should probably do that. I don't know if you've ever tried to write comedy material about Belgium, but that's quite a hard task. There is literally nothing funny about Belgium. I mean, I cannot be more clear in this thought than by saying Belgium is literally the Belgium of comedy. I had nothing. I was like, I'm just gonna have to do my act as it is and hope that everyone is right and that they like it. I get to the venue, I ask the promoter the same thing. He says, again, it's gonna be fine. Trust me, the sense of humor in Belgium is exactly the same as the sense of humor in Britain. Literally as he is saying this, I look over his shoulder onto the stage and I see the act that is on before me and the act that is on before me is a bloke dressed as Jesus playing the banjo. I'm like, sense of humor is exactly the same, is it? Because that would not fly in the UK. Worse still, this Jesus banjo dude is absolutely nailing it. Not nailing it, obviously, that's not the wrong, wrong phrase with Jesus, smashing it, he's smashing it, okay? He's absolutely killing the room. And I'm looking at this thinking, I, this is not good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bomb hard here. The thing that I always do whenever I'm nervous, I start speeding up, I'm talking so fast. I mean, literally no one in the room understands a word that I'm saying, but it's never a good sign that I was given a 10 minute set, which I'd worked out with jokes and left space for laughter. I was off in about seven minutes. I walk off after seven minutes having absolutely just stunk out the room. I walk into the dressing room. I know it's also bad because none of the other comedians even want to look at me. It's not even one where they can tell me, oh, you know, that went well and I can pretend that it went well. It was so bad, no one wanted to speak to me other than one comedian. And that comedian was the Banjo Jesus. And I sat down next to him and he looked at me and he was very sweet, very lovely. He was like, mate, it's absolutely fine. These things happen. It's always the next gig. You died tonight, but it's all right. You'll be back from this. And it meant a lot because if there is anyone that knows about coming back from a death, it's Jesus. Thank you, Banjo Jesus, wherever you are. He's everywhere, really. I appreciate it. And I've never, ever, ever been asked back to do a show in Belgium. <laughs>